Look at the video one. White and dark and white. So you have a you have a necklace on. Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm Ann. And together we're Ann and Kelly Philippine Adventure. Today we are going to do our monthly bills for the month of... Month of March. Month of March. Now we haven't done a video in a while. The last one we did was we were at the beach. And the reason why is because we've been doing a lot of readjusting our house for the baby. Yes. I think. Oh. You want to get him? Okay. So like I said... Oh. Oh, he's grumpy. He just woke up. So, this is Liam Andrew, the newest part of our family. He yeah. just woke up and he's probably a little grumpy. Yeah, maybe he's angry, angry, angry. So, how did, um, so what did you think about the whole birthing thing with the hospital? Oh my goodness, it's shocking. <laughs> shocking. Um, I remember you telling me that when, when they brought the operating table, because we had a C-section because we couldn't take the baby, they, we couldn't have it naturally. The baby, it made you nervous when, when, they, when they started the operation or was it after the operation? Going, going to operation and after still feel nervous. And, she... and but when, you, when they lifted the baby from your belly, you heard him cry for the first time because he yeah. screamed really yeah. loud. And that's when you relax. That's why I said to oh, thank you, God. I heard my baby crying. Yeah, and he hasn't stopped crying since. Yeah. He's very, very loud, very noisy little boy. Let's get this done to get before that way he can that's take crazy. it before, before he starts getting upset. Okay, so we're back to the monthly uh, bills for the month of March. March. 2018. We are a family of three now in a two yeah. bedroom apartment. Um, it's pretty good size. Uh, you've seen the, the video for our apartment. Uh, we have a private uh, gate for our car oh. driveway. Mm -hmm. You can go get a bottle of him. I'll, I'll continue. Okay, continue. So, she's going to go take care of Liam for a moment. And I'm going to start right into it. Our rent for a two-bedroom apartment is 10,000 pesos or $192.27. Average, I think average for a, a apartment of this size in the States, I think it's around five or $600. So you can kind of tell the idea. Okay, now we have two different kinds of drinking uh, water here. You have drinking water and then you have water for everything else. Clothes, bathing, you name it. If you don't drink it, that's what the other water's for. That water last month came up to 440 pesos or $8.46. As you can tell, Liam is not very happy. So, that was our water. Now, our drinking water, we, we bought four of these, the great big tubs. They're, they're, blue, they're blue containers, and I don't know how many gallons they are. Not really sure. I think they're five gallons. But we had four of those last month at 20 pesos each, with a total of 80 pesos for the month of March, which came to $1.54. Um, now Wi-Fi, now we're on PLDT Wi-Fi, which is a, a fiber optics Wi-Fi. Now we're in a locked-in contract, and our locked-in contract is 1,899 pesos a month, or $36.51. Uh, let's see, our electric, now our electric has been going up and down because here lately, uh, the electric company, based on the summer months, and it is, you know, it's hot here all the time, but the summer months are a lot hotter and the, the electric seems to go up. So our electric for last month was 4,700 pesos or $90.37. Now we have, for cooking you have what they call gasoline. It's like um, propane, but it's not propane. It's a, it's a different, I guess maybe it is propane. I, I'm not really sure. Um, but they call it gasoline, G-A-S-O-L. That is 750 pesos, a huge container, which lasts us a little over a month, month and a half. 
That is $14.42 a month for cooking gas. Uh, now gasoline for our van, everyone knows we have Bluey, our little bitty scrum van. That is a Suzuki van. Um, it takes uh, 1,200 pesos to fill it up. Last month we filled up two times, so 2,200 pesos or $42.30. Now last month we didn't go a lot of places because Liam was born on the 18th. So we spent a lot of time at home. We don't really want to take him out for a while and get him you know, out and about yet. Um, what else? Groceries. Our groceries last month was 16,000 pesos or $307.63. Now this is how we do it. Every month we would go to uh, the market or the grocery store inside the mall and we would spend about 8,000 or about $200 on dry goods. That, I mean literally everything dry good. Um, and then we would buy our meat, our fish, our vegetables, all that we'd buy fresh from the wet market. But it's, it literally is all fresh. The, the fish is that caught that day. So we spent total last month uh, 16,000 pesos or $307. Now our extras, that counts for uh, laundry soap, toothpaste, toothbrushes, hairbrushes, anything extra in the house that you might need for the, for the living in the house. Um, we spent 6,000 pesos or $115.36. Now that was the normal um, prices that we spent or the, the amounts we spent last month for living expenses. Now we have to add one more, um, one more uh, expense and that of course that is the, the birth of the baby. Some of you may be coming here thinking, oh I will have a baby. You know, you're going to get your girlfriend, you're married, whatever. For a C-section here in the Philippines, including the doctor bills, the the room, um, because the rooms run you, I think, uh, $20 a day. I know it's something like $20 a day for the for the room, and that's that was in the private hospital, but that's not a private room. You're in a, that's an award. If you want a private room, then that'll run you 1,800 pesos a day, which is about 40 or 50 dollars a day. We chose the ward, and as you've seen in the previous video, when the baby was born, it was pretty much private the whole time we were there. So to have a baby C-section and everything included cost us 150,000 pesos, or $2,884.06. So uh, that's everything for us last month. For a grand total of 192,000 and. 192,000 192, pesos and 69 centavos or $3,692.92. So that was expensive. Having the baby was very expensive and uh, we want to thank all of our family and friends who, who were here to help us uh, take care of that. Um, it, 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 you can't do it without family and friends. So that is it. That is our our monthly bills. Okay, so you got them quiet, huh? Yeah, because it's already full. Oh, did you feed them? Yeah, but. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, well, see, we're doing a couple of things. We're doing bottle feeding and and breastfeeding. And breastfeeding mix. Is a mix. They they push breastfeeding at the hospital, which you wanted to do anyway. Yeah. But as Mother Nature has it, you don't make quite enough milk to keep them full, so we have to do a little bit of both. And he seems yeah. to be adjusting really well. Uh -uh. Um, he, but even he, even if he's full on bottom mouth formula, he's still finding my. Yeah, he's still looking for you. Um, you got him quiet. Let's see. He's also gaining a lot of weight. I've noticed in the last uh, what? Yeah. 19 days old now. 20. 20 days. Okay. okay, so he's 20 days old today. Tomorrow's his first day in church. Uh -huh. um, we plan on having his his uh, baptism and our christening. Uh, we call that dedication. Dedication here? Yeah. And that'll be in July. July. And it's of course that's also our anniversary. Uh -huh. And your birthday. Yeah. We're gonna have one giant celebration. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe have your mom and dad come over from Mindanao. Maybe, yeah. That, that would be nice. Yeah. So anyway, that was our monthly expense. Um, yeah, um, Liam is a photocopy of his daddy. Yeah, he does look a lot like me. I don't have any <laughs> pictures of his baby. Well, I think he has your eyes. 
maybe, but the color of his eyes is not like No, me. they're blue. He has blue eyes. Yeah. Mm, that's okay. He's still very cute. Very cute thing. Or what's the other word? Guapo? Guapo. Yeah, very very handsome. Tisoy. Cano. Little cano. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's it. Um, uh, is that anything else you have to add no. for this last month, your, your experience with the baby? Uh, nervous. Uh, I think I say that on trauma. <laughs> trauma? <laughs> Traumatized? Traumatized. Yeah. I'm scared now of an injection. Mm -hmm. I'm scared of going to the hospital and still, I can still imagine mm -hmm. of what happened. Yeah, yeah I, I also I also found out that you're a very protective mama. Yeah. This baby doesn't get out, doesn't get about arms of reach away from you at night. I tried to put him in his own bed. That don't seem to work because he always wakes up in the middle between us. Uh uh. And why don't you have him in his own bed? Still, though, you find my smell. Yeah. My hug. I'm Kelly. I'm Anne. And we'll see you on our next Philippine adventure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.